was a crime so horrendous that everyone was talking about it. A young African-American woman held down as three white guys cut her dreadlocks and insulted her. Where were minister? where were anybody to protect her from this heinous crime? The tears in the eyes of the grandparents came from righteous outrage. Now, questioning the claims of a crying girl is not a good look for anyone, especially the media, which most Americans already hold disdain for. But maybe they should have. Well, it turns out the incident never happened. Her grandparents have written an apology. To those young boys and their parents, we sincerely apologize for the pain and anxiety these allegations have caused. To the administrators and families of Emmanuel Christian School, we are sorry for the damage this incident has done to trust within the school family and the undue scorn it has brought to the school. To the broader community who rallied in such passionate support for our daughter, we apologize for betraying your trust. Now, of course, actual hate crimes do happen. We can recall how recently there was a high school wrestling referee in New Jersey who forced a black athlete to cut his dreadlocks. He was shamed in front of the audience. Outrage was everywhere. But we see another disturbing trend in U.S. society. That's people faking hate crimes against themselves in order to get media attention and sympathy. Who can forget Jussie Smollett? I could only go off of their words. I mean, who says empire this MAGA country all those celebrities who rallied around Jesse Smollett's case and filled the airwaves with their outrage and indignation well they look pretty bad now remember that crowd of high school boys from Kentucky who were shown in a video wearing Trump hats and confronting an elderly Native American veteran remember how it turned out that he had actually walked up to them and that the boys had already been met with a tirade of anti-white slurs from the nearby black Hebrew Israelites? Name these kids. I want names. Shame them. If you think this f***s wooden dox you in a heartbeat, think again. Honest question. Have you ever seen a more punchable face than this, kids? With the overall crime rate in the United States on the decline, actual hate crimes are increasing. And that's what makes these hoaxes so vile. It feeds into the idea that actual victims of actual racist atrocities shouldn't be taken seriously. The unfortunate thing is, you know, sometimes hate crimes do occur. And when, when they do occur, I think that this kind of um, hoax does a disservice to the victims of legitimate hate crimes. When, when something like this happens, you know, it's going to make it harder, let's say, for the next victim to be believed, you know, because there's so many instances of, of these types of hoaxes popping up. I think that a lot of, you know, editors, quite frankly, have lost their soul, you know, especially now in, in America's Trump. They're always just looking for the most sensational story, the story that paints, let's say, the starkest and, and you know, most negative picture of America, unfortunately. It seems like we have a lot of self-hatred in the American mainstream media nowadays.